I don't want you to like. Spo- I don't want you to get into stuff you don't want to get into. But what what is the stuff that's really like stuck in your craw that you're like? Ah, uh, everything. Is like- but a lot of it is the Manson and Jolly West stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. and the Manson in prison stuff. And I, I'll give you a little tip of that hand or hat or whatever a lot of stuff that happened to manson in prison before he was released you know he was in prison for 1961 to 67 yeah those years what was going on then and actually in his adolescence when he was going boys homes to the different boys homes and then the other prisons and stuff there was something happening in each one that was pretty unique with him and that's the stuff i'm trying to document now and get more information about Mm. and then of course that bleeds into just like all the other stuff but that's the one of the main focuses of what will hopefully be a second book yeah i think the 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 jolly west stuff was i think i i because i you know i'm pretty tapped in i guess into what people are talking about when yeah. and and uh that was a weird way to phrase that but i paid attention <laughs> to the way, like the things that really people took from the book because i read it basically immediately when it came out it was a the book was a hit you know, let's not mince words. Not really here. the first few months. I mean, the first six months. I mean, we didn't get reviewed hardly anywhere. Yeah. And uh, I mean, so there were some early podcasts. I don't know if you guys are all competitive with each other, but the Chapo Chop. No, House those guys, are our homies. Yeah. Yeah. They we're competitive on, with them, though. Okay. But no, they put no. me on before yeah, yeah. Rogan. And I know that that helped. And um, before Rogan, I did a few that were gave the book bounces. Yeah. But I really felt like. You know, at the time I did Rogan, it was, I think, March or April of 2020. The book had come out in... That's a great time, too, because of COVID. Everyone well, was that, that was a lot also of, a that's mixed it, that's time. Because, the first time a lot of people read a book in probably 10 years. Except you couldn't get the book. So he... And I I mean... All right, here, I don't care. Rogan would... He's probably, not... I, I, I hate to say it. Yeah. There's a zero percent chance. Yeah. Right? I've given well, up Well, he has on, a lot of friends, and maybe his friends listen. He, he won't care. You know, I, I actually think he'd laugh i didn't want to go on i mean i wanted to go on and i didn't want to go on and but my friend greg knew how much rogan if he ever like listened to greg pitch the book it's everything about the book is right up his alley you know yeah 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 Yeah. drugs hippies uh jfk all that stuff so um but when it was starting to happen i had like a panic attack and i called little brown and I said, I'm just so scared I'm going to be put in the Alex Jones category. Yeah. That, that that'll be like imprinted if I'm on. And they said, are you insane? He's the Oprah for bros. He is. <laughs> He's going to sell your book. For Oprah. He, he really is. And then he announced it like a few days before I was on and the book sold out. Yeah. So it was in hardcover. And then they couldn't sell anymore because COVID was just happening and supply oh, so, chain so you could only get it audio and digital yeah supply chain my mother was uh about 92 then and she was sharp as a tack uh-huh. and when she found out you know that there were all these people trying to buy the book that they couldn't get it she's in philly she's like you call little brown I'll take my car and I'll go to the plant. I go, mom, they're not even manufacturing them in the plant. Yeah. And whatever they're manufacturing, it has to be essential stuff. Well, that's ridiculous. People need books. I go, there's no bookstores to sell them in. Yeah. And that's how determined she was to get my book out there. So that's so sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah. The day the book came out, uh, she was at Barnes and Noble at like, nine in the morning waiting for them to open the door she marched and you know she's a little italian american lady she had them move it they had it on the new book stand but she had them move it up to eye level and there then you go of pictures of her <laughs> yeah, yeah, standing yeah. in front holding it yeah so thank god she lived to see it happen because you know i had a lot of people lost faith and faith in me yeah. during that 20 years but my parents never did <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein.